So I made it uh, across the country, and um, and it's been a great uh, journey across the country, meeting a lot of new people, coming into contact, and and just being inspired by all the greatness that I see in the world. Um, you know, there are not a lot of people that done what I have done, and um, and I would just want people. To really to live their dreams I really want people to live their dreams and do what it is to make them happy I want them to be more involved in the community you know I've been trying to do the things in the community for a long time in Destin for 10 years I've start, been involved with what I call the Rock Club Foundation doing community a picnics in a park called the free day market and doing other community things and I'm just really upset about the way the city and the police and the officials help really how what really what 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 turmoil that they cause me and my group, you know. I mean, since I've been on the road, it's been so free and able to go and do things and make things happen and meet new people. I have to really. You know, worry about a government holding a uh, city government holding me back. I mean, it's thinking crazy that you know that they kicked us out of the park and could we couldn't have a picnic in the park anymore, and it really hurt 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 the group. You know, my friends of mine saying I can't get a job because of the way my hair look or the way that. I dress, you know, I can't wear a tie, are they scared to wear a tie dye, they can't sick wear to be, put colors, you know, I get pulled over and persecuted because my truck was painted like the American flag, the symbol of our nation, I can't put up a flag without being persecuted, I can't express myself without persecution, and that's just, even something as simple as a flag, I can't do that, and then I have a friend that I picked up on in Vegas and said, I was holding a sign say, I want marijuana and I got arrested and sprayed with peppergrass and I got a hundred thousand dollars. My lawyer took, you know, eighty nine you know, a percentage of it. And I'm like sitting here was like you got money for holding a sign says you want marijuana. Yet I get kicked out of a public a public park for holding a public event and I didn't get a single dollar and yet and to this day I can I'm still trespassed from a public park to this day I am a trespass there's something wrong with it I, I call the bar they haven't called me back I call the lawyer I've been calling lawyers I and they haven't answered me back I don't know what lawyers I have to talk to to get an attorney to sue the city for a way because right now I don't have a license in the state of Florida I, I'm unable to have a license ever again in the state of Florida because the, because the discriminatory that they are against the police against me in the state of Florida and I would love to come back and see my thousands of friends in Florida but my thousands of friends in Florida do not want to do anything about it they don't want to, they don't want to call the cops and complain they don't want to file a lawsuit they don't want to help me find an attorney to file a lawsuit I mean they call me you know and I really appreciate them helping me get my goat back. I really do. That's what was a success. Yay! I got my property back that was taken from me unjustly. That, and he almost died. And I did not see a single dollar from that. Nothing. It's just like, oh, well, we saw we, we took your best friend from you. Here you go. Why did they take it? Because they're a goat. Why? Because it's different. Because I'm an artist. I'm unique. I'm special. And that's a crime and destined to be unique and special. And before I can come back, I need to find an attorney that would take up my cases that I have against the Florida. Because the way they 
Hanno I mean, is is justly unresponsibly full. Because, you know, anybody should have a right to have a picnic in a park for the community. I mean, what is a park for it? Yes, it's not for having picnics. Especially if you're giving stuff away for free. And you know what? You guys need to answer that. And you guys need to continue the rock club and continue to dream because I'm not there anymore to do it. And if I was, I'd probably be in jail. But that's why I'm not there no more. Because I don't want to be in jail. And you know, I don't want to go to jail because I have, I'm a, a uh, you know, choosing not to blend in with society. I'm not a bad person, I'm not a criminal, I don't, you know, I'm just a man that will try to do something for the community. You know, they took, and, and still, you know, I wonder if my building is still standing on Air, airport where they, where I try to start a community garden shop. Does anybody even know what happened with that? Well, um, a couple years ago, um, this Chinese guy, I started working for him, and he left me a building to take care of, he told me to take care of it, cut the grass, blah blah blah, that's what I did, I decided, since I was uh, maintaining the property and taking, watching over it, I'll start a, a community garden shop, I call it the community garden shop, that's what I called it, it's a garden shop, and I hired homeless people and taught them how to garden, the city came there and said, well, they're like, what are you doing down here? I'm like, oh, I'm uh, in charge of this guy shop helping homeless. Well, we, we don't know about, we don't say so they have something against the homeless people that I was trying to help. And, 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 the, and so forth, they looked at, they started looking into it. And they found it. They can't get a hold of the owners. They still have. They didn't ever got hold of the owners. They got hold of a lawyer group, a lawyer group that informed them that they are looking into possibly starting a strip club, maybe. And and the city's like, well, can you? Are you going to allow these people to be there? Are they? And they they're like, well, far we know that nobody in the building. So somebody came. So they came down to the building and they asked me politely to leave and I would say, well, I've been here for 10 years. And so they called the cops and the cops asked me to leave and I'm like, and really, they had no right to ask, the cop had no right to ask me to leave since I've been there. I should have, should I have rights to be there? So they, they, call, they politely gave me um, a few days to gather up my stuff. Which I gather up some of my stuff. But most of the stuff that got donated by the community got left in the building. And that is probably going to get, probably they had destroyed, they probably destroyed, they already destroyed half the building and haul off half our stuff. And the building probably sitting empty to this day because they can't figure out what to do with it. Because, you know what? I was trying to do something for the community and they, and I wasn't allowed to. Do anything for the community. <sighs> very, very upset about the last 10 years of my life trying to do things for the community. And you couldn't. Because I met with, you know, 
because of the, you know the amount of difficulties that I met with. Maybe I should have left Destin sooner. So I'm, and you know, this trip that across the country, you know, it come to the end right now. But and that, the the whole mission was to try to inspire greatness in people. Because I want people to live their dreams. And try to be different. Because I think it's okay. To have long hair. And have. Display colors. And art. And be different. And I think you should be allowed to do that. Without being persecuted. You know. For being a hippie. Or a rebel. Or a democrat. I mean. And this is what the nation was founded upon. I don't know. And, you know. And, yeah, the government, the cops can sit here and try to arrest me. And there's nothing I can do about it and try to fight to stay out of jail. But, yeah, I still have got a single dime from them when they, when they, when, when I finally win the, win the case against them. I spent all this time and effort just fighting the damn law. I'm sitting here fighting them right now. I got tickets in Arkansas. I got tickets in Florida I'm still dealing with. I probably never gonna really deal with. They can, they can come take me to jail. Fuck you. I'm not coming back. What do you want from me? You guys win. I'm not in your town. Trying to do community events anymore. You guys win. There's no more community events in your town, okay? I'm not there. I'm not. I promise. I'm not gonna come back. Do any more community events? Can you just drop the tickets? Hey, hey, make sure that I don't ever come back. All right. Well, that's cool. Um. Yeah. Hopefully, I can find a lawyer. A lawyer will be for. You know, that's why I don't have money for a lawyer. Because I'm poor. Because I'm an artist. Because I'm getting sick and. <laughs> they make sure I'm poor. Yes. It's just why like, can't even quit playing the victim. Like, well, you know, I am the victim. Cause I'm different. Long hair, I have a beard. Maybe I should, I'm probably gonna cut my beard this spring, but I don't even know. And hopefully, I can post this thing on YouTube so everyone can see it.